Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Unfortunately, Jeffrey Marsh is back on my Twitter feed and I was hoping and praying to God that I wouldn't have to see this individual's face ever again. But alas, here is Jeffrey Marsh yet again, talking about something that Jeffrey Marsh has got no idea about. And well, as it happens, it involves JK Rowling, who has been very, very vocal in regards to protecting the likes of women's spaces and being very much against this transgender ideology and narrative, which I am in full support of her, everything that she has said. But you have these people out there like Jeffrey Marsh that don't know what the hell they're talking about. And they will be, I said in the last video that I made about the woman filming the old man saying the old man was creepy. Jeffrey Marsh is creepy. This is the definition of creepy. When you are saying, Hey kids, Hey kids, come meet me in my chat room and my private Patreon account. That's problematic. Now I do know that Jeffrey Marsh has quite a very large audience over on TikTok and on Instagram. He, Jeffrey has got a lot of fans. Okay. I'm saying that, but He's also, Jeffrey's also got a lot of people that don't seem to really agree with anything that Jeffrey has to say. Now, Jeffrey decided, you know what? Today is going to be a good day, even though this actually hasn't happened yet, but I'm going to put out a video anyway to spark a lot of my fans rejoicing and being all happy and getting, getting excited over this possibility, right? So Jeffrey Marsh is excited at the possibility that J.K. Rowling could lose all the rights of Harry Potter. So essentially, Jeffrey Marsh goes on TikTok and makes this video. Have a watch. Hi, you won against Ms. Rowling. <laughs> no, it hasn't quite happened yet, and this is conjecture and rumor, but there's a person named Jeffrey Schneider who's an insider in film and television, and in his newsletter, he said that Warner Brothers has been trying to buy the Harry Potter franchise from J.K. Rowling because uh, largely because the actors refuse to do another project unless she's gone because of her transphobic comments. So because of boycotts, because of you speaking up, because of you making her views, her bigotry a liability, She's starting to pay the price. Thank you so much for caring. <clears throat> Thank you so much for caring. It is working. Keep it up. How have you won if it actually hasn't happened yet? So you haven't actually won anything yet. Why would you say such a thing to start off with? You, you haven't won a thing. And by the way, J.K. Rowling, yes, she owns all the rights to the Harry Potter franchise, which is absolutely brilliant, fantastic. It won't take her off the bloody book as being the author. It won't take her off any of the, the film credits of her actually being the author. You have won absolutely nothing. It just means that she won't own the rights anymore to her own work if this, in fact, does happen. It doesn't take away the fact that everybody knows that she created the damn thing and she will always will have her name attached to it. So you've, you've pretty much won zero, zilch. Now, it would be a pretty significant deal if J.K. Rowling were to lose the rights and I would feel for her if she was to lose the rights, but I don't think she's going to let that happen. If she does, then that's her choice, I guess, because she didn't fight hard enough. But I think she's going to fight pretty, pretty damn hard to keep the rights to her creation literally one of the best-selling books of all time or best-selling franchise of all time. It has made her a mozza of money, okay? It's made her a household name. And as a result of J.K. Rowling becoming very outspoken in regards to the transgender madness, it's put a target on her back. But she's not backing down. No, no, no. She's doubling down. And I love it because it is pissing off people like Jeffrey Marsh. And Jeffrey Marsh will try and clutch at straws at whatever Jeffrey Marsh is possibly going to do to try and say, you know what? JK Rowling is a hateful, evil woman. She's a transphobic person. She's made transphobic comments 
and that's not good to my community. It's very upsetting for my community. Grow the hell up, please. Is that too much to ask for? And this is conjecture. You're grown as biological man. Grow the hell up. Just thought I'd get that out of the way. And rumor, but there's a person named Jeffrey Schneider who's an insider in film and television. And in his newsletter, he said that Warner Brothers has been trying to buy the Harry Potter franchise from J.K. Rowling because, uh, largely because the actors. Largely because the actors are too woke and... Well, you've got the likes of ungrateful Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grint, who were pretty much household names because of Rowling's work, I'll have you know. They wouldn't be known or famous today if it wasn't for Harry Potter, created by J.K. Rowling, the ungrateful bastards. But no, guys, no, 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 no. Uh, because J.K. Rowling is standing for the likes of real women and science and logic and reason and rationale, we can't have that. So you know what? Us as actors, we're going to refuse to any to work with anybody that has these transphobic views. We can't have that. Not allowed. We refuse. All right, don't work. There's plenty, and I mean plenty of actors out there that would love a chance to work under the banner of Harry Potter. If you want to be so ungrateful and say, oh, I don't want to work for a transphobic creator, guys, I'm making my 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 statement. This is a hill I'm going to die on. All right, don't work. Don't earn money. If you are so adamant and so outright that J.K. Rowling's views have been hateful and transphobic, then do not work. We'll find somebody else. Now, personally, if I was J.K. Rowling at, the, at this point and I was hearing that Warner Brothers is trying to buy the rights, I'd go, okay, I'm not going to allow my creation to be taken away by the likes of you. We're just going to find somebody else that ain't woke. Simple. You've got, you signed a deal with me. You knew my views before you signed it. So now you're in the trenches, Warner Brothers. Don't try and back out by buying it off me. No, 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 no. We're going to stick through this. We're going to stick through it thick and thin, guys. Let's do that. And let's not allow Jeffrey Marsh to get a so-called victory. Jeffrey Marsh thinks it actually is when it really isn't. Put it into perspective, please, Jeffrey. That would be great. Refuse to do another project unless she's gone because of her transphobic comments. It'll be it's not transphobic at all to say that uh, trans women are not women, but biological men. It ain't transphobic to say that. That is actual scientific and logical fact. But these days, if you say that trans women are not women, but men identifying as women, you're a transphobic bigot. Interesting, that. Because of boycotts, because of you speaking up, because of you making... So Jeffrey is pointing to all of Jeffrey's followers and people that have been very, very outspoken about all this. They're, they're not happy. So <laughs> I'm fairly certain there are millions of people out there that are very happy with Harry Potter and J.K. Rowling. Very, very happy. I mean, the game that came out, the boycott with that failed miserably. J.K. Rowling ended up earning a mozza from that too. So I don't see why in the world Jeffrey Marsh is going, oh, it's because of you guys that this is all happening. It's because you have been so outspoken. Thank you so much for all the boycotts. We're just going, all right, so what? <laughs> There's millions of people there's billions of people in the world and there's a lot of people that love J.K. Rowling. I'm just saying, they love Harry Potter. Harry Potter is bigger than these individuals that want to identify as being whatever else because they're a small little minority group. Yes, they have a loud voice, but in this case, falling flat on its face by the looks of things. Her views, her bigotry, a liability, she's starting to pay the price.
JK Rowling's paying no price at all. Just so you know. You are the one that's actually paying the biggest price in all of this because you're refusing to work. <laughs> if you want to be part of the, the franchise, which is more than likely not going to happen. She's not paying the price. She's actually getting a lot out of this. I'll have you know. And maybe she's got a big target or a bigger target on her back because of it, because you've got the big companies now going, all right, maybe she's got to deal with lawyers. I'm not sure what's going on, but Jeffrey is saying now she's paying the price. Um, you may need to get your facts straight first before you say that she's paying any kind of price at all because of these loud mouths, minority group types. <laughs> I'm just saying. Thank you so much for caring. Thank you so much for caring. Thank you for caring for me and the people in the transgender community. We thank you for voicing all of your concerns in this matter. J.K. Rowling is a hateful, hateful person. How can you say that she's a hateful person? Because she's talking about science and protecting the likes of real women everywhere. Goodness me, these people are insufferable. Thank you so much for caring. It is working. Keep it up. It's not working. So you may as well quit while you're ahead. That would be the best thing to do. Is That's my advice to you guys. Keep it up. If you want. I mean, if you're watching this and um, you're, you're part of the LGBT whatever community and, you know, you're all in favour and all for Jeffrey Marsh and what Jeffrey Marsh has said, by all means, keep it up. See how it happens. See what becomes of it. Or you may just be wasting your breath because you're going after a whale at the moment. So good luck in catching that whale and bringing that whale down because that whale happens to be a very big killer whale. Anyway, my friends, thank you all so much for watching. You take care. You be blessed. And I'll see you all next video.